Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. In this video, we're going to go over the exotic sidearm, the Trustpasser. Now, if you didn't know, since patch 2.4.0 hit, uh, Raul's been decrypting these things from exotic special engrams. And I had a few old ones. And if you watched me on stream last night, my final last engram out of five gave me this bad boy. So now I gave it a pretty thorough test run in PvP and also in PvE. And it's got its uses in both. Um, I'm going to give you the skinny on both right now. For PvP, it's really good. It's really good. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if I like it better than my beloved Queen's Choice with Mulligan and Reactive Reload, but then again, I haven't used my Queen's Choice since patch 2.4.0. Well, because Queen's Choice got a little bit of a nerf. Before we get into the perks and everything, one thing I will say is, man, the range drop-off. I don't I don't notice it nearly as much in my Queen's Choice. I murk people pretty far, or I did with Queen's Choice, but yeah, the, the, you gotta get close to people with this thing. In the right hands of a beast, if you watch Nkutch's video, he just destroyed people with it last night. If you're a beast, you're gonna wreck people with this thing. If you're average like me, you'll have some fun, but for the most part, I was just running around trying to get kills only with this thing, and I did fairly, I, I actually almost won this rumble game you're seeing in the background here. Came close, but no potatoes, but I was only using this. I literally did not use my primary once. So let's jump into the perks. So first you got Relentless Tracker. Kills with this weapon grant enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time. It's gonna fire in three round bursts with deadly accuracy. Reloading after kill causes the next burst to be longer and more powerful, and it's called a super burst. Now here's comparing it to my Queen's Choice with Mulligan and Reactive Reload, and you can see it pretty much outclasses it by everything, okay? So here's the perk tree, and we'll take a look at the ornaments too. The ornaments make it look really good. You got a Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, and Sure Shot IS. I tend to go with Sure Shot IS. I like aim assist when it comes to hand cannons and sidearms. The more aim assist for me, the better. You got Relentless Tracker. In the middle, you could go with Hand Loaded, which I don't know why it takes a drop in range. It's supposed to give you more range. Uh, reinforced Barrel. And it's got quick draw. So let me know in the comment section if you have one of these. Which one do you like in the middle for the perks? Now, for the final main perk, you got Unrepentant. Okay, so if you reload after a kill, you get a super burst. It actually gives you a timer. I believe it's five seconds. Now, one of the things I'm going to find really useful in PvE is the whole Relentless Tracker. Because that's what I rely on for my Night Starker to go find things out in PvE. So here I just realized, wait a second, my Relentless Tracker just kicked in. So I knew that there was a chest in this room here. So you get kills, and then you got Relentless Tracker. So I'm going to imagine that when we're in the Plague Lands, it's going to be all chests and stuff we got to find and secrets just like the Dreadnought. Well, I'm going to be using this thing on my Warlock and Titan when I want to find things. I'll get a kill and then I'll quickly look at my map where things are or I'll go to like an area where I know there's probably some caves and stuff. Get a few kills and then just start reloading, look around, see, hey, what pops on the map? Is it a, I don't even know if we're getting some sort of new planetary material. Here's the, uh, the recall pattern. This thing kicks straight upwards, okay? But then again, this is me using the range perk in the middle. So it is manageable but it just it kicks straight up it doesn't it seems like it, it goes a little bit to the right but definitely straight up i didn't really feel it going to the left at all so now if you get close to someone critical wise it's going to do 38 so each one of those bullets in the three round burst if you get close enough and you land all crits it's going to be 38 but yeah you got to get close to people okay and maybe i sound a little like a broken record here but i guess it's because i'm used to my queen's choice which i felt always had some really good range in it so uh you guys let me know in the comment section you sidearm experts out there um do you guys feel like the range is good on this thing or is it comparable to all the other sidearms let me know in the comment section now to be frank guys the biggest thing for me is the whole pve thing okay i'm gonna be using it on my other characters where i want relentless tracker to find things. oh that poor golden gun guy um to find things in the plague lands you know i mean i'm imagining scott taylor said it's gonna be really big so i'm gonna be using this thing on my other two characters to find things when we go out on patrol and that's it guys so let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comment section drop a like this video only if you see fit follow me on Z twitter at mace sean check out my stream usually on youtube sometimes on twitch that's it i am out of here like vladimir